Hello, welcome to the tutorial for Lake Charles Memorial Hospital Allscripts Paragon for Emergency Department Providers. This tutorial is a quick overview on how to use Allscripts Paragon to enter order for patients being admitted from the emergency department. To launch Paragon, double click the Memorial Physician Portal. From the Physician Portal, click Clinician Hub. Enter your username and password, ensuring that the domain says LCMH. Then click Sign In. When Clinician Hub launches, it will default to the Census page. You will need to filter the Census to see current patients in the ED. First, select the Emergency Room under Inpatient Locations. Then, using the arrow, move it to the right. X out to save. You will still have too many patients to display, so now you will want to filter for current, no discharge date patients. Select this, X out to save. This will display all patients in the emergency department at this time. To save, click the Save icon and give your filter a name, in this case, ED Patients. Click Save. You can also set this as your default by clicking on Set as Default. For the purpose of this video, we will be looking up patients one at a time by visit ID. Go to patient search. Use the patient's visit ID to prevent pulling up the wrong patient or patient visit. Check that you have the correct patient by verifying the name, visit ID, date of birth, and admit status. When entering the patient record, you will notice the patient profile information displays on the upper left. Here you will find information such as admit diagnosis, if entered, allergies, insurance financial information, contact numbers, attending MD, and admit date. You can also find certain other information such as demographics, family history, and home medications in the dropdown. To enter orders, click the Ordering tab at the top of the screen. Once at the order screen, select Search. Here you can search for orders individually as well as by order set. Make sure the order is for the main campus. Orders for women's campus are annotated by a W. Archer campus will say Archer. Certain orders like EKGs will indicate they are for emergency departments. There are pre-made order sets for the emergency department that can be used. One of these is the ED to inpatient admissions. To find this, type ER to admit in the search bar and click go. Order sets are annotated by an asterisk at the beginning. To save this set or any other orders to your favorites, click the flag icon on the right of the screen. Then when you click favorites on the top bar, you will launch your favorite orders and order set list. To open the order set, click on the name of the set. The set will open and you will note that some required orders are pre-checked. The red dot on the selected orders column indicates that there is information required on these orders. Anywhere on the set that there is a plus indicates that there are orders below that that can be selected. Go through and select orders that are applicable to your patient.
Note that once you select your oxygen order, the red dot shows next to it in the selected orders column. Click on the oxygen order under that column. The oxygen order will open, allowing you to type the oxygen rate in. If you try to save, a warning will appear telling you that the frequency is required. Choose the frequency by clicking the drop down arrow on the frequency box. Select your IV fluid, in this case normal saline. There will now be a red dot besides this order as well under the selected orders column. Click on normal saline. When the order opens, there will be fields with a red asterisk. If there's a number next to the asterisk, that means that either of the fields with the same number attached must be answered, but not both. Note that the red dot goes away once you fill in the required fields. Review other orders to see if there are any that are appropriate for this patient. When selecting medications, you will be required to select a dose string as well. Select the square box to select the medication, then select the round radio button to select the dose. Once you have completed reviewing the order set, look at selected orders. Ensure there are no red dots remaining and that you have all the correct order selected. The diagnosis order is merely checking to see that an admit and diagnosis has been entered on this patient. In this case, the admit diagnosis is abdominal pain. If so desired, you could preview the orders that you are about to submit by clicking the preview button at the top of the selected orders column. Make sure that you have all the correct orders selected and that you did not select any that you did not wish to select. Once you are assured that all orders are correct, you may submit the orders by clicking the Submit button above the Selected Orders column. Once submitted, you can go to the Order Queue to see your orders. Add Pending means that Nursing, Lab, or Pharmacy has some work to do on these orders before they are completed. Click the Close button to leave this patient and go back to your Census list or to choose another patient. To add a problem to the problem list, choose Problem and Procedures from your drop-down. Click Manage. Note that you have Full Problem and Procedures and Current Visit Problem. Full Problems are from previous visits and are chronic problems. Click Add. 
change the search by ICD, and we're going to search for chest pain. We're going to choose chest pain unspecified. Choose the start date and select an informant. In this case, it will be the patient. You have the options to save and add another or save. We are going to save in this case. Now we have chest pain unspecified as a current visit problem, but we note that chronic congestive heart failure is a chronic problem and we are going to move it to current visit. Now we have congestive heart failure and chest pain as a current problem and we will close. To see radiology images from PCH, click Flow Sheets. Choose Radiology. From here, you will see the list of all the radiology tests that have been done. You could see the notes by clicking on the notes icon, or you could click the image itself by clicking on the image that looks like an x-ray. This will launch the PAX viewer. You can see the image from radiology here as well. When done, hit the red X to exit. To access the patient's medical record or one content from PCH, click Medical Record. You may sometimes have to click More to view the medical record icon. One content will launch. You could sort it in many different ways, but the best way I've found to sort it is by encounter and document type. Here you can see each visit the patient has made to the hospital. If you click on a visit, you will see all the different document types listed underneath. You can see progress notes, history and physicals, radiology reports, EKG strips, EKGs, path reports, operative reports. Underneath case management, you could also see outside documents, such as EKGs from other facilities. When done, hit the red X to exit. 